Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. Today, we're doing five facts about William S. Burroughs. So this was requested by somebody, but I can't remember who. I actually already filmed this, and um, I don't know what happened to the footage. I, I lose a lot of footage. So anyway, I'm refilming it, but now it's too far back for me to figure out who, who it was that asked for it. But anyway, <laughs> let's, let's go with five facts about William Burroughs. Ooh. Okay, fact number one, and fact number one is probably the most famous fact about William S. Burroughs. I'm actually, um, I'm going to cut to Mark Nash here explaining it, because he talked about it in a recent video of his, which I'll link to below, and uh, he did a great job, so yeah. So very briefly, the story is, uh, they were in Mexico because Burroughs had already had to flee America because of some uh, drug offences, so already uh, one knows that Burroughs is, 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 is not a, a great... Uh, uh, human being in terms of following the law and uh, they're drunk in Mexico City and uh, Joan places a glass on her head and Burroughs picks up his gun and says it's time for our William Tell act there are others present in the room drinking and uh, Burroughs takes aim and instead of hitting the glass he shoots her straight between the eyes and she dies and uh, Part of the issue was that we don't quite know if that's really true because Burroughs' story to the authorities in Mexico kept changing from day to day and uh, partly under the influence of his Mexican lawyer uh, who is himself uh, a fairly reprehensible character because he killed someone on his property which he claimed he was defending from trespass and he went on the run to America. Fact number two is that Burroughs moved to Europe. He actually wanted to study medicine. So this was at the age of 22. He moved to Vienna. While he was there, he married a Jewish woman whose name was Ilse Klapper. The idea being that it would help her to escape from the Nazis and to obtain American citizenship. They did later divorce, but they remained good friends. So fact number three is that William Burroughs coined the phrase heavy metal for the genre of music. So it's actually from a 1961 book called The Soft Machine. And there's a character in it called the heavy metal kid. So Steely Dan, the band, also take their name from the name of a dildo in Naked Lunch. And Kurt Cobain actually wanted Burroughs to appear in the music video for Heart Shaped Box. Burroughs said no, but there is still a collaboration floating around called The Priest, they called him, which is William Burroughs reading a story and Kurt Cobain on noise guitar. Fact number four is that the Burroughs family fortune all came from his grandfather, who was the inventor of the Burroughs adding machine. They actually sold their stock for $200,000 in 1929, right before the big stock market crash that would have wiped off most of the value of it. And fact number five, when William Burroughs was 25 years old, he cut off the pinky on his left hand. You can actually see photos of it. It's kind of disturbing, to be honest. He basically then took his finger to his psychiatrist, who then admitted him into a mental hospital, and he said that he cut off his finger because it was part of an initiation ceremony into the Crow Indian tribe. He also later wrote about this in a short story called The Finger. Imaginative title. So there you have it, there are five facts about William S. Burroughs. Be sure to let me know in the comments your suggestions for future episodes. I'm also thinking about reaching out to some author tubers and seeing if they wanna, you know, guest present their own episodes, so that could be quite cool. But yeah, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this, hit subscribe for more videos, and I will see you soon in another one. Thanks a lot, bye bye